Baker to inbound the ball. Had trouble doing it. Down by eight after trailing by 21 earlier to Gonzaga. Right now, I think it's a big stop for the Zags. Can you get the ball back if they stop them? Here's line night score and get your D set. Rebound down to they're gonna go for Leas one. Harris. I think they're gonna go for one. Game clock and shot clock are about equal. Illinois very concerned about giving up offensive rebounds. This is a key juncture. Get a shot with roughly three to four seconds and the dark shirts chase. And Jeff Jordan, Bill, he comes with defense and it doesn't go away. He is aggressive. Harris very good sneaking in for offensive rebounds, too. A wild try at the half. Brown gets a clean look. Rims out. That's the end of the first half with the score. The Bulldogs 43, the Illini 35. Now let's go to Tim Brando in our New York studio for AT&T at the half. Jimmy B. All right, Don. Welcome back to AT&T at the half. Tim Brando along with Seth Davis. Ten years ago, we were wrapping up a century and also a millennium. Now we have a new decade to look back upon, and Seth, you're just the man to do it. <laughs> that I am, Tim. <laughs> From the champions to the Cinderella's to the individual stars, we'll never forget. Here are my top five college basketball moments of the decade. Mateen Cleaves went down hard, but came back to ease Michigan State's pain. Cleaves, open three. Yes. Those are those that kill you. He hurt himself. He, did. he oh, really did. hurt himself. The lead was six when he left. He returns. It's nine. One of the greatest leaders the game college basketball has ever seen. And you can leave it to Cleve. He has reinstated the magic at Michigan State. A baby face guard captured America's heart and led Davidson to the Elite Eight. To shoot. He's got a fire and does. That's another three for Stephen Curry. Here comes Richards. Finds a cutting Curry. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Young fella. It only took six overtimes to decide the greatest game in Big East history. It's 81 all. And we're headed to double overtime <laughs> as we hit the midnight hour in Gotham. No. T3 is coming up. This is insanity at the Garden. And can you say four overtimes? Clint, touch pass inside. Can Harris finish? No, two seconds left. Harris get it back, and he gets knocked to the deck. The ball's down. It's no good. Five overtimes, and I did not stutter. Two seconds left. Now one, and all it took was six. Six overtimes, and the Orange outlast Connecticut in the Big East Tournament. It was Patriot Day when George Mason shot UConn. Denim Brown, three to go. Denim Brown, four, three. No good by George. The dream is alive. George Mason, my goodness. Mario's miracle put the Jayhawks in overtime where they claim the title. Kansas has made only two threes on the night. They must make one here to extend the game. Thomas driving, almost lost the handle. Chalmers for the tie. Got it! Two seconds! Unbelievable! Rock Chalk Championship. Kansas takes the title. Hope the next decade is just as good. And uh, you actually courtside for some great moments. Yeah, you? I think in my 14 years, the best day of the tournament, four lower seeds all advancing, back-to-back -back buzzer beaters by Western Kentucky and Drake in Tampa in 2008. Well, be sure to visit CBSSports.com tonight for a wrap-up of all the day's basketball act. At the half, Gonzaga leads the Illini by eight after leading by as many as 21. And now let's take a look at the Coke Zero first half stats. 
Uh, the other team really ringing the bell deep, huh? Just struggling at three point shooting by line. I just like the temperament of their team right now. The turnovers, respectable, and the points in the paint. You can see considerable difference between, with the Zags getting it inside and not finishing a lot of opportunities. Let's see what kind of spirit in the new year the Illini bring in the second half. And they're starting Jeff Jordan, which I think is a really, he played so well running the team. Why not? And yeah, they started forcing turnovers, the Illini, after Jordan got in the game and got after the ball. And they also uh, really kind of did a good job of denying the three pointers that the Zags were hitting in the early in the game when they built that big lead, a 21 point lead. And then uh, to close the half, Illinois went on a 24 to 11 run to get right back in it. Up and down. And back down it comes to Dimitri Goodson. Well, they ran their stuff beautifully, got a great look. Tisdale now, not a good play. McKamey. Baskets off turnovers, early offense. Ran a good set, came up empty on the offensive end, and here helping your partner out. Nice reaction. And Bruce was talking last night about preparation, being in the right spot, helping your partner, developing trust. That's something they're trying to do early in the season. Well, that time, uh, Bill Stephen Gray got his third personal foul, so the hot hand early in the game. And Zaga built the lead now, the foul problem, and it's down to a five point advantage for the Zags after they led by 21. How about that? Illinois early this season, setting an Illinois record, rallying from 23 points behind at Clemson to win. Defense is tightened up. Now, a good move inside, up and down by Sacre. How about that anticipation of the double step right through with some power? Again, ball reversal, back screen, duck in. A little more line and reason to the offense, and Davis with the counter. Well, that's a nice looking move by Davis. The drop step, and it's back to a five point advantage. Here's a reject, but a foul stops play. Like uh, Tisdale, got his third. Wow, he got himself pinned, but look at this beautiful anticipation, stepping right through. Knowing it's coming, but doing it before it gets set. And then, unfortunately, Tisdale just uh, turn over here on the inbound. Tisdale not ready defensively on Sacre. McKamey to Jordan. And the Illini is back to within three. That name always seems to do well in this <laughs> building, doesn't it? Yeah, the name Jordan in the United Center. What history there is there. And now. A little charge offered it up. Sacre. That's his second on Big Robert Sacre, the seven foot center for Gonzaga. And what anticipation by Tisdale. The quick feet by the big fella. Little zone look now. Again, they've done a nice job, particularly Davis flashing in the middle and making a good decision. McKamey. Looked like a foul. Here's the long ball. Boom! We're tied at 45. Wake it up a little. Results with the timeout. First tie of this game. Brandon Paul hitting long distance. So the Illini rallying back. They're on a 10 to 2 run to tie this game. Bill Raftery, this is Don Prigge back at the United Center in Chicago, where over the last uh, 12 and a half minutes of playing time, there has been a 21 point swing in this game. The uh, Illini down by 21. They've rallied back to tie the game with Gonzaga at 45 all. I like to get Bolden involved in a play. And how about that ball screen? And then the little bump to get Sacre on the box. Very clever. Great set off the timeout. That's why they win titles. Under Mark Few. Seven straight West Coast Conference titles under Few. And now here's a steal by Bolden, the head of the pack. Jordan comes to defend. A dish. Tisdale again. If it is him. Wow. That could be number four. Yeah. Okay, a full hip shot. There. Yeah. It is four. How nice is this play? I mean, just so well executed and designed. The little 
the exchange on the baseline gets Sacre free. Disturbs the defense and Bolden with a very catchable delivery. Zegan now looking to extend to a three point lead. Which they do with another to come for Elias Harris, freshman from Spire, Germany, averages over 13 points a game when the big man Tisdale, who had a career game in the win over uh, Northwestern in the Big Ten opener for both schools this week, Tisdale. 31 points in that game, but today, four fouls, and he's on the bench. Well, you know, you, you'd rather play with him, but they played so well without him. 14 minutes in that comeback in that end of the first half, so they're very comfortable without him. Sacri has to move around on the floor, not be in the post area as much. He's not a good defender away from the basket. Here he is now. 